Hi everyone, I'm Reverend Jim Keat, the Digital Minister at the Riverside Church, and this is The Word Made Fresh, the weekly video Bible study and sermon prep resource where we talk about an upcoming lectionary passage, and then you can, you know, use these ideas for your sermon or Bible study, or just watch the video, enjoy it, leave a comment, you know, internet stuff. Today we're talking about the gospel text for this coming Sunday. It's John chapter 18, verses 33 through 37. Now, if you're watching this in real time when it was just released, this coming Sunday is Reign of Christ Sunday, the last Sunday of the liturgical year. What? It's like our New Year's Eve. This particular scene takes place right in the middle of Holy Week. Uh, this is when Jesus is before Pilate, before the whole crucifixion and whatnot. So just so you know where we are, because... Yeah, Christ the King, Reign of Christ Sunday, it'll it'll all make sense, I think, once we read the text. John chapter 18, verses 33 to 37. <clears throat> Where'd you go? Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, so you are a king? Jesus answered, you say that I'm a king. For this I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked him, what is truth. Now, you might think we're going to dive in and talk about those last parts, testifying to the truth, Pilate's philosophical question, what is truth? But we're going to save that for another time. I want us to focus on two particular moments from this text. First, Pilate's line, when he says this, so you are a so king, you are a king, so you are a king. Now, I wonder how exactly do you think he said it? What's the posture, the tone, the inflection? It, it's really fascinating for a lot of reasons, because here we have one ruler, feeling a bit threatened by another. This is what I think of when people often say that religion, Christianity, shouldn't be political. It should stay out of politics. This is a story about Jesus being right in the middle of politics. The rulers of the region, the king is feeling threatened by this other king. That tension is at the heart of what it means to be a person of faith, because our faith doesn't just take us somewhere out there, but it roots us in the world around us. And that means in the world of politics, of the things happening and the way in which things are done. And Jesus is right there in the middle of it all. And then there's Jesus line when he says, my kingdom is not of this world. Now, a lot of us probably hear that and think, yeah, yeah, Jesus kingdom is somewhere up in heaven, right? Well, I, here's how I think of this. When Jesus says a line like this, I don't think he's telling us where his kingdom is, but how it is. Not the location of the kingdom, but the posture of the kingdom. Jesus' kingdom doesn't do things the same way that the kingdoms on this world do. If they did, that's what Jesus is saying. His followers would be storming the gates and doing all the violence stuff that kingdoms on earth do. But Jesus is saying, my kingdom is a different kingdom kind of kingdom, a peaceable kingdom we hear echoed from the prophet Isaiah. And in Jesus' kingdom, it's not even that he's just playing by different rules in the game of politics. He's playing a completely different game altogether. Rather than one that centralizes power for the sake of power and the sake of accumulating all that might come with it, Jesus' kingdom is one where the last will be first, the least will be lifted up, those pushed to the margins will be brought to the center. This is also why sometimes we hear people say the word kingdom instead of kingdom when we're talking about this whole Jesus thing. The Lord's Prayer. Maybe you've heard someone near you say, your kingdom come instead of your kingdom come. And that's an intentional shift because kingdom is very masculine, patriarchal, dominant language. That's what kings are. Kingdom speaks to community, kin, kindred, the sense of connection that we have. And it kind of reminds us that, yeah, Jesus' kingdom is not of this world because it's not a kingdom. It's a kingdom. <sighs> so what do, you, what do you think about all this? What do you think of this particular text, Jesus and Pilate having their little repartee? 
Jesus line, my kingdom is not of this world. What does it mean to you? And reign of Christ Sunday, where, where we recognize Christ the King. What do you think of when you think of Christ the King? Now, get ready, because if this is the last Sunday of the liturgical year, it means next Sunday is the first Sunday of the liturgical year. Ah. <sighs> It is almost time for Advent, which means we'll have a whole lot of good stuff going on, not only with more videos like this, but we'll be bringing back our devotional podcast, Be Still and Go. Be sure to take your phone or whatever device you use to listen to podcasts and subscribe to Be Still and Go. If you have a smart speaker, you can just say, hey, Google, play Be Still and Go, and it'll play Be Still and Go for you. Or just go to our website at trcnyc.org slash be still and go so you can listen to all the episodes every single day from the beginning of advent november 28th through christmas eve december 24th all right that's enough talking about stuff leave some comments do your thing talk with you later